This is the GL iNet Opal uh, travel router. It's a little device that you can use while you're on your travels to connect your local, your own devices to the Wi-Fi provided by the hotel or the cafe or wherever you are uh, when you're traveling. It's running WRT, OpenWRT. It's got three gigabit ports, ethernet ports. Uh, one of them is a WAN port, the other, one, uh, other two are uh, ethernet ports for your local devices if you want to use ethernet to connect your device like your laptop, etc. Uh, it runs dual band Wi-Fi, so 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz. It's got some VPN functionality which I'll touch on sh shortly, uh, IPv6 and it also supports the Tor network. So let's touch on why you need a device like this. And I said need because it's actually just so cool to have one of these. It's basically a device that you connect to the Wi-Fi um, while you're traveling. And it allows you to share that Wi-Fi with all your devices. So the great thing is that you can connect your devices to this uh, little travel router. And it's connected to the Wi-Fi where you are and it shares that Wi-Fi connection. So sometimes in the hotels, you would actually get like a Wi-Fi password and you would have to configure each of your devices to use that Wi-Fi, etc. And sometimes there's a limit to how many devices you can connect. So what this thing does is it takes that connection and then shares it to your devices. So if you have your, your phone and maybe your iPad or your laptop or whatever, you can connect it to this device and this will then share the connection onto the Wi-Fi that's in your hotel room and you can connect over, over the internet to what, what you have to connect to. The great thing is that you can set this up as a VPN client and once uh, you have that VPN client connected and configured on here, it means that your connection to the rest of the world is secure and not open to any of the other people in the hotel Wi-Fi or the cafe Wi-Fi or where, wherever you are. So that's nice and secure way to connect to the internet using your own devices. So in the box, you get your um, device, a power supply, uh, an ethernet cable, and two power plug adapters. I'll touch on that now. A registration card and a quick start guide. So the quick start guide just goes through how to set it up, etc. Okay, so for the connector power supply, uh, this option was the EU option, but they give you the UK power plug as well as the EU power plug uh, adapter and you just hook it in, click it in and it's ready to go. So if you look at the device itself, let's move some of the stuff away. I've labeled mine travel, uh, lazy travel. That's my, let's get it yeah. Lazy travel, that's, that's our, name for our router uh, when we travel. So on the back, you'll see that there are three uh, ethernet ports. One of them is for the WAN, that's the WAN port. Then two ethernet ports for your local devices. It's got a USB port here for tethering. So you can actually connect your phone to this, to tether to this, and it's got a USB-C power supply. It's got two little aerials that flip open. And on the other side, or one of the sides, you have your reset button. Reset button, there we go. And then a switch toggle, or toggle switch, that you can toggle um, for functionality. And you can actually program this button to either switch on your VPN or switch off. On the front, you have an LED panel here. It's just a little light that comes on. And um, if it's like bluish color, it means it's starting up and it's it's ready for access, etc. to configure it. And once it's white, it's connected to the Wi-Fi environment that you have. Wi-Fi or, or Ethernet. You can, if you connect it on the WAN side, so if you have an Ethernet port um, at your destination where you're traveling from, to or where you are, then you can connect to Ethernet there and then you can configure this. And the white will show you, uh, white light chair will show when it is um, connected. As mentioned, you can actually connect this little device through VPN to some of the better known uh, VPN providers like NordVPN, 
uh, etc. But the great thing about this as well is that you can set up this device as a VPN server as well. So that is why I actually got two of them. So I have one of these at home connected as a VPN server uh, connected through my, my own router at home and then I have configured this travel router to connect to my personal VPN at home and it gives me access to my local devices, secure access to my local devices and also has a benefit that when you connect to the VPN at home, it is as though you're at home and you can actually connect to your streaming services um, using the normal settings that you have and you can get this stuff in the, in the languages that you like. Um, we found that if you travel to different countries in the EU, for example, you go and connect to Netflix, the it defaults to that local content there and the languages and uh, the options that you have is, is limited to that local area. So if you're in France or you're in Italy, etc., you get the content for that environment or that area. But using this little travel, VP, uh, travel router, you can connect to the VPN in your country, uh, our country is Netherlands, and we can use Netflix and stream normally as we would do when we're at home. So that's a great benefit to having two of these devices, one permanently at home, set up to uh, be our VPN server, and the other one, this little thing, configured with a VPN client to actually connect to that VPN server wherever we are in the world, and then we back in the Netherlands. Um, the great thing about this, like I said, there is a little button on the side here that can switch on and off to actually enable the VPN. So let's say you are um, traveling and you want to connect to, securely to your VPN at home. You just switch it on. It will make the connection and everything that you do or connect through here will then go through your VPN and through your home network. If you want to be on the local network there, let's say in a hotel and you just want some of the hotel access, etc., you can switch this off and that will switch off the VPN connection and you're using the Wi-Fi in the hotel. So yeah, awesome little device, not expensive and uh, makes life so much easier. There's a little bit of a tip or a trick here. Yeah? Um, what, what you do is, or what I've done, is I've connected uh, or set up Wi-Fi connection on all of my devices for this lazy travel. Like I said, I've, I've, we call it lazy travel, whereas it's not focusing. Anyway, it's lazy travel. So we connect, we have connection on all our devices, our phones, our iPads, uh, laptops, etc. And uh, you go to our hotel, you configure this little thing to be connected to the hotel Wi-Fi and then your device is just connected to the travel router and you don't have to worry about all kinds of passwords, long passwords, funny passwords, uh, sharing the access on the network, etc. You just connect to this and it connects to the Wi-Fi and Bob's your uncle. So really worthwhile getting one of these uh, two if you really want to set it up like, like we've done um, and it makes your life so much easier and just easy to travel uh, and have Wi-Fi access to all your devices.